zooming above the clouds, 10,000 kilometers off the ground. It's a lot of trust to put in a big chunk of metal, especially this one. It doesn't even have wings. While it's not unusual to be a little bit nervous about flying, planes are actually one of the safest ways you can travel. In fact, you're more likely to die from falling off your bed or getting struck by lightning. But it wasn't always that way. The early days of flight were, let's say, creative. When the Wright brothers made their historic flight in 1903, their plane was made mostly from wood, wire and fabric, and it flew for like 12 seconds. In the years that followed, planes got better at, well, staying in the air. And by the end of the First World War, aviation had begun to take off. Although for the most part, it was loud, uncomfortable and expensive. And as flight became more frequent, so did accidents. Those early tragedies led to big changes in the rules about how planes could be made and who could fly them. Governments created agencies devoted to aviation safety and brought in systems like runway lighting and air traffic control. They also started formal processes for investigating crashes to learn from what went wrong and stop it from happening again. In the aviation industry, we say all the rules are written in blood, and that's because every accident has lessons to be learnt. And there's an Australian invention that's been helping us learn those lessons for more than 60 years. This is a black box, and it's mandatory for every airliner to have one, and it records all the flight information as well as the conversations in the cockpit. Why is it orange? It's so after a crash that the investigators can find it. These bricks are pretty much unbreakable. And by finding them and listening back to the pilot's conversation and analysing the data, investigators have been able to work out the cause of hundreds of accidents. These days, anything that goes wrong in aviation, from a near miss to a major tragedy, is thoroughly investigated. And the point isn't to blame anyone, but to find ways to improve safety. And so those improvements mean that there's a lower likelihood of that same accident happening again. And because planes fly all over the world, countries have agreed to follow the same rules. They're set by the International Civil Aviation Organization, which is part of the UN, and cover things like pilot training, air traffic control, plane maintenance, and accident investigation. Countries and airlines share safety information, and experts from around the world often work together. Then there's the planes themselves, which have multiple levels of safety. So if one thing goes wrong, there's usually a backup. Now, accidents are really rare, which is why when they do happen, they're big news. And why there's always a huge effort to find answers so that lessons can be learned and lives can be saved. I think we certainly take for granted the ease with which we can fly from one place to another now. And when we see accidents on the TV or online, it's a good reminder that we need to make sure we keep applying all the rules and requirements to keep aviation safe. 